Hello everybody, my name is Brent Johnson and I am with Heartfeel Automation. Last week I talked to you a little bit about BNR Automation. BNR Automation is our full controls product line that we sell through Heart Heartfeel Automation. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about Automation Studio. Automation Studio is the full software package that is used for programming all BNR products. It's a super powerful software program and highly useful for beginners and advanced people alike. First to download it, we need to go to BNR's website. Open up a browser and type in br-automation.com. When you first get there, it's gonna prompt you for a country and a language. I have chosen USA and English. Once you select that, it will never ask you for that again. Next, we'll see tabs across the top here, company, industries, technologies, products, events, Academy, Career, and Downloads. Click on Downloads. Next, click on Software. Then you can go ahead and click on Automation Studio. Then you can click on the version that you'd like. We're going to select Automation Studio 4.9. There are other versions that you can select but I highly recommend going with the latest and greatest. Then click on Automation Studio V4.9. Here's where you can select the download. Once you select this, the download will begin. I highly recommend not messing around with your computer while the download is happening as we do not want to corrupt the file. Also, I highly recommend using Windows 10. I have seen issues with Automation Studio on some of the older unsupported Windows versions. So that's kind of how you get Automation Studio onto your desktop or laptop computer. The next thing I want to talk to you about is just about how to find products on this website. You'll notice there's several ways to do it. The first way you can go and click hover over products and you can see the many different products that they have. What I want to talk about today is the PLC systems because that's the compact that falls into the compact desk series that we're going to talk about. Click on PLC systems, then go ahead and click on X20 system. Next, you can go down here and click Compact S CPUs. These are the lowest end but powerful controllers that BNR has to offer. We can scroll down to the X20 CP0484. That's the controller that we're going to be using in all of these tutorials. Once you get to the product page, you'll notice there's technical data, basic information, accessories, downloads, and revisions. If we go to accessories, you'll notice there's something that says mandatory accessories. You can't just buy this product by itself and run it like this. You need to have some mand mandatory accessories. The first one is a bus base or a bus module. The one that I've selected is the X20 BB52. The next item that you would need is, an, is a power supply module. The one that I have used is the X20 PS9600. Last but not least, you'll need a terminal block to wire into. That's the X20 TB12. All of these are hyperlinks to each of the product pages and it will give you the same kind of information we're getting on this product. What's really nice is you can get a download about each product. You can find the user's manual or you can even just get a cut sheet on it. I've pre-downloaded a few cut sheets on some of the products for what we're gonna be using for these tutorials. First, I'll go to the power supply module. That's the X20. PS9600. You'll notice it makes a nice PDF page for you. Talks about, you know, general information, ordering data, general specifications and technical data. Gets down to LED indicators. Talks about the different pinouts for each of the, the outputs for or inputs of the card. Last but not least, it talks about how to wire it up. This is very important for wiring it up the correct way. You'll see the X20 CP0484 cut sheet right here. It's actually for all the X20 compact desk controllers. Same deal, talks about all the technical specs, order, in, order information, gives you some basic uh, connections and, and what each port is and that type of stuff. So super useful information. And you can do the same thing with the bus base. That's kind of how 
you get Automation Studio on your laptop or desktop computer. Next week, I want to we're going to open up our first program and configure our controller for our first program. Have a great weekend. Stay safe.